Hey, what's up everybody? It's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another video of War and Aura. Guys, I'm pretty excited about this because I already made this announcement in Discord and I've been thinking about this for a couple weeks now because, you know, I'm up to level 17 castle, almost level 18, got the walls cooking. Um, I'll be to level 18 probably later tonight. And then um, I'm moving in like four or five farms, guys. I'm going to start really grinding on these. Um, I'm not playing to my fullest potential like this first month on War and Order. I've been pretty much a waste, man. I have not used any farms. I've got one farm that I use here and there. And uh, most of my resources are from a couple packs and um, hitting monsters every day and doing the events and uh, just being proactive. So, I already know with my, like, grind, I can get to level 22 castle quickly before um, the Realm War. Um, probably higher than that. And, um, you know, if I run these farms like a boss, like I know I can then I definitely will be able to get higher than level 22. So that's my goal right now. And um, I'm not going to be able to cheat. Here's the thing, guys. A lot of you that are just War and Order viewers um, don't know. Is that I'm an R5 in uh, Clash of Kings. I'm an R5 in Clash Royale. And I run a Rust crew. And, um, you know, I don't run the Agario crew anymore. But I still talk to those guys all the time. So I've got way too much on my plate. So I'm going to start doing this and a lot of the games that i play um having co-leaders that are going to lead the alliance with me and in war and order it's going to be none other than eric a lot of you guys know eric from um 440 and cok he's a great guy um i trust my life with the guy he's uh one of the best people i know he's very experienced in war and order too this is the big thing he has a year's experience in war and order he knows everything about the game i had the expert interview with him on the channel uh last week and he already has level 30 in his other realm and he's already given up to level 19 in this realm and he was just like a level 14 like a few days ago so he's like he just decided to explode his castle and uh, I don't see him stopping till he gets to level 35 here as well as in his other realm so um, he's gonna be R5 now does that mean I'm, I'm still gonna be leader guys I'm still gonna be leader we're gonna co-lead together which we've already been doing but he's gonna be the actual R5 so that all of you have someone that you can talk to basically any time of the day and uh, then I'm up at night I'm up all night so you're basically gonna have a leader that's on day and night but um, it's gonna be better for both um, diplomacy it's gonna be better for all the family alliances it's gonna be better for everybody and he's very stern with people so I know he's not gonna take any bull crap from anybody and the problem with me is and the reason that problems happen with uh, realm king and that alliance and all the alliances um, not most of the alliances have you know i've had no problems with with anybody in the alliances maybe a couple bad apples here and there but i try to keep everybody happy because you're all my subscribers i really care about you guys i want everybody to just have a good time here well with eric he's gonna look at everybody um you know he, he's gonna look every, at everybody level-headed and he's not gonna think well you know if i if i upset this person then he's not going to support me anymore or anything like that. So it's going to run a lot smoother with Eric as R5 is all I'm saying. I'll still be here every day playing the game, making videos every single day, and I'll still be the leader. You guys can see, got the level 17 done, got the level 18 walls cooking. Uh, we're, we're doing great, guys, and I love the game. It's such a good game with the um, real-time battle decisions that you can make, with the uh, stacking on tiles and on attacks. It makes the game very interesting. It's going to be a lot of fun, and as the wars start to progress, as people start to get bigger castles, there's going to be more and more wars. Congratulations on the 19th Scepter. Scepter, I'm sorry. Um, there's going to be more and more wars, and it's going to be a lot funner. You're going to see a lot of good, interesting, more content like I used to post a lot of in Clash of Kings. So I can't wait for the future of this game, guys. I'm going to be in War and Order for a very long time. I want you guys to know that. Um, if you haven't played the game yet, the links are in the description. These are all sponsored videos by War and Order. War and Order is taking very good care of me, guys, and I can't thank them enough for it. And I'm going to support this game for a very, very long time. I'll be making these videos, um, you know, hopefully for years to come. And hopefully we can see this game grow just like some of these other mobile war games have grown. It has the potential. There's nothing about War and Order um, that I see as bad except for I'll show you one thing that is god-awful. And I'm going to do my best to talk them into fixing it is this middle earth look at this stuff man that is like like why build a why build a perfect game and then have this like it's just like they were like oh um the game is the most perfect but um we don't want it to be absolutely perfect because we want something to work on so let's put this horrid oh wow they updated it. they put these little thoughts please fix this war in order this is the only thing wrong with the game is this what is this supposed to be like snow is it like um 
dragon ju you know what is this all this white stuff um so uh yeah guys we're having such a great time here in the game links are in the description if you want to come play and, and you don't have to play in 201 you can play in any kingdom it's just um i love the game and you know i'm happy um that you guys have seen um you know that i'm happy that you guys are gonna have an active r5 now those of you that are in lk and those of you that are just watching the war and order videos you're gonna start to see daily good videos i'm not gonna have to like because i'm like answering questions and talking to people every time i get on here i spend the whole time talking to people i don't really get time to go out and hit people and attack and get resources we're gonna have a lot of fun now we're gonna start hitting people we're gonna start getting resources we're gonna start um, making people mad we're gonna start trolling people we're gonna have a good good time and then the whole family system of lok is gonna be safe because you're gonna have a good solid active r5 and then you're still gonna have me as co-lead and i'm gonna try to come over to some of the family alliances and spend some time with you guys like um maybe i'll go to a um, LOD um, you know for a week and then um, I'll go to KWL I'll go to 100 I'll go to IEP I'll go to all of you guys um, sorry I'm missing some of you guys but you know I'm going off the top of my head here I will go to LOW all of you guys I'll go to all of your alliances and spend some time with you and make sure that everything's going great and yeah I'm so happy that um, I got this off my chest and that we're gonna be able to move on and um, yeah that castle 17 looks good can't wait for that 18 to pop tonight I'll probably be popping the 18 tonight hopefully the 19 um, by early next week um, yeah it should be by early next week I'm gonna get some farms around me Mikey this is my one farm um, I need to move it out of LOK I got an LOK right now um, I just need some wood. I just need to find a little bit of wood and we'll be good. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys already know the team works dream work. Smash thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay. We're gonna have a good time in war order. All right. Peace.